Greetings in Christ, Nancy Golden here, and we're going to be taking back Lent together today. And you know, some of the topics that we're talking about is uh, really some things that are sometimes difficult to reflect upon, but I think it's important. And I think that God uses this time to help us to come to terms with some of the things that have been bothering us, and I praise Him for that. So, let's get started. Today is Thursday, Day 8. As we reflect on our journey during this solemn season of repentance, it's easy to get caught up in our regrets. My sister-in-law likes to say that we are experiential learners, and I think that is so true. I look back on my life, and sometimes, when I examine it closely, I feel overwhelmed with what I could have done differently. It is not always because I gave into the temptation of sin. Sometimes I feel heartbroken because I just didn't know any better. I think when we talk about repentance, these two things are intertwined. We can feel deep regret, even shame, for responding to a situation when, at the time, we thought we had the right response. Empathy and wisdom are some things that grow with life experience and maturity. I can identify my sins and ask my Father in Heaven for forgiveness, but what do I do with my feelings of regret and shame when I could have done better, but didn't know how? I think that is part of the human condition. When we recognize those feelings, we should ask forgiveness for those past regrets, but we should also try to release them. Lay our sorrows at the foot of the cross where our Savior died to take away our sins and shame, and then do better. I really like the words of Maya Angelou, a famous writer, poet, and civil, civil rights activist. If you haven't heard of her, you may want to find out more about her. I find many of her quotes very inspiring, and this one is especially appropriate for our topic today. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. And that is the solution to our problem of being experiential learners. While it won't fix the problem of not responding as well as we could have due to ignorance or immaturity, there will always be some things we don't know simply because we haven't had the opportunity to learn about them. It will instill in us an approach that honors God and people to the best of our ability. This won't be a stagnant exercise. As you increase in understanding, so will you enable yourself to respond with love and empathy in increasing measures to those around you. Today's activity. Reflect on 2 Peter 1, verses 5-8. through 8. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Notice in verse 8 that Peter writes, For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, we are all on a journey that started when we received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And we cultivate these qualities as we learn and grow in our faith. Let us strive each day to become more like Him. Thank you so much for joining me and taking back Lent today. God bless you on your journey. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.